the Shanxi KJ-2000 represents a significant milestone in China's military aviation, marking the nation's first operational airborne early warning and control system. Developed by the Shanxi Aircraft Corporation, the KJ-2000 is a second-generation airborne early warning and control aircraft that has bolstered the capabilities of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Built upon a modification Russian Ilyushin Air-76 airframe, the KJ-2000 is equipped with domestically designed Avionix and radar systems, underscoring China's growing self-reliance in defense technology. China's journey toward an indigenous airborne early warning and control capability was shaped by both necessity and geopolitical challenges. During the Cold War, China, like many Soviet allied nations, acquired the Illusion Air 76, a robust four engine heavy transport aircraft. The Air 76 proven airframe became the foundation for the KJ 2000 project. The development of the KJ-2000 was soon so driven by the need to modernize the People's Liberation Army Air Force, particularly after the Gulf War, where NATO's technological superiority highlighted the importance of early warning control systems in modern warfare. The KJ-2000 project gained momentum after a fair attempt to acquire the Illusion A-50I, an early warning and control aircraft, equipped with the Israeli ELM-2075 Falcon radar. The deal, which involved cooperation with both Russia and Israel, was cancelled in July 2000 due to pressure from the United States. This setback forced China to develop its own early warning and control system, leading to the birth of the KJ-2000. The KJ-2000 is distinguished by its use of a fixed radar, housing three active electronically scanned array radars. Unlike the rotating radar found on the American E-3 Sentry or the Russian Brief, a-50. The KJ-2000 stationary radar contains three phase array radar modules arranged in an equilateral triangle configuration. Each radar covers a 120-degree sector, providing comprehensive 360-degree coverage. This innovative design offers several advantages, including faster reaction times and reduce mechanical wear compared to rotating radars. The AESA radar system was developed by the Nanjing Research Institute of Electronics Technology, part of the China's Electronics Technology Group Corporation. Operating in the frequency range of 1200 to 1400 MHz, the radar is capable of detecting and tracking both airborne and surface targets with a maximum area detection range of approximately 470 km, equivalent to 290 miles. The radar's pulse Doppler technology enables it to distinguish between moving and stationary targets, enhancing its effectiveness in a variety of operational scenarios. The KJ-2000 retains the general structural features of the Air-76, including its quad-engine layout, high-mounted wings, and T-tail configuration. The aircraft's Avionix and onboard systems have been extensively modified to accommodate its new role as an airborne early warning and control platform, with Chinese engineers integrating advanced electronics, sensors, and control stations to create a sophisticated command and control system. 
The first prototype of the KJ-2000 took to the skies in 2003, and the aircraft officially entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force in 2004. Since then, China has produced a limited number of KJ-2000s, with estimates suggesting that five or six aircraft are currently in operation. Despite the relatively small fleet, the KJ-2000 has played a crucial role in enhancing China's air defense and power projection capabilities. The introduction of the KJ-2000 marked a significant leap forward for the People's Liberation Army efforts, enabling China to conduct more effective surveillance, reconnaissance, and command and control operations. The aircraft's ability to detect and track multiple targets over a wide area provides the People's Liberation Army efforts with a critical eye in the sky, allowing for a real-time battlefield awareness and coordination of air, land, and sea forces. The KJ-2000 has been particularly valuable in monitoring the contested airspace over the South China Sea, where China has ongoing territorial disputes with several neighboring countries, including Japan and Philippines. The aircraft's long-range radar and communication capabilities allow it to oversee vast areas, contributing to China's efforts to assert its presence and defend its interest in the region. In addition to its role in regional security, the KJ-2000 has also been involved in various joint military exercises and patrols demonstrating its operational flexibility and importance in China's broader military strategy. The aircraft's presence in these exercises serves as a powerful deterrent and a symbol of China's growing military prowess. 